Hello and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And we're back with some more Dandara. Just figuring out where to go after defeating the... The big face guy. <laughs> yep. Augustus. Yep. Well, let's see. We got the big old jump. Does that uh, telescope do anything? That's I mean, probably question. not, but... I think we looked at it to see the oh, campsite. Neat. Somebody hiding in there. Does that mean you can't get in? That means I can't get in. Hmm. Not from that side, anyway. Vidracaria? Garantito? Garantito looked like it was in the Nintendo font. <laughs> Okay, so just filling in the blanks is any good. Oh. Not filling in the blanks very well. But any good Metroidvania, you fill in the blanks to get all the secrets. So let's ah. go over here. Now ah, there's just Garantito's bar. Hmm. We couldn't get in earlier because we didn't have the music box notes. Oh. Salt. Nice. Although if that's the currency of the world, I wonder if that means we just robbed the cash box. Uh, we might have. <laughs> Ow. What was that? Ow. Floating eyeball guys. Oh. I forgot how to use my gun. <laughs> we might have taken a little bit of a break between uh, fighting the boss man and uh, now just cause you know like new Splatoon content and uh, also with some other cool games coming out I got it well that guy worries me <laughs> oh. I'm bad at shooting. <laughs> well, I mean, the fact that you have to charge up and you get, like, one shot at it... It's its definitely very deliberate. That's a good word for it. Like, they definitely want you to have to think about those shots and... Uh, fret over missing them. How do I get over there? I would guess someone rotates that big cube, but... Because oh, it's at such an angle exciting. that, yeah, because that one was at such an angle that it just doesn't look like that you could get to it. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, you no. found something of a shooting gallery. Not a shooting gallery for me, though. No. And you can get them on the very edges, but then you have little time to react to their shots. Okay. Is there? Oh, I just gotta get through to the opposite s side. <laughs> I think fighting's a fool's game in this instance. <clears throat> yeah, I think so. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Why did Dendar cross across the room to get to the other side? Nah. Hey, it's Lazuli's house. Oh. They're the ones that gave us the fast jump. Right. Oh, hey. Actual thing. Oh. This is exciting. Hey, it's another... Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I can use one of them. And that's a dead end. Great! A useful one, though. Yeah, I mean, no, it's not... Like I'm not actually complaining. I mean, it was definitely a rough trip getting there. And you'll probably want to stop at that campsite uh, if you're doubling back. Yeah. But... Uh, well, it did refill all of my health potions. Oh, did it? When oh. I got it. So that's nice. Convenient. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
And I will say that knowing what you were getting into uh, on the way back, you uh, fared a lot better that time. Oh yeah, that went much smoother. Okay. Yeah, there's just not a good angle to get at that one. So, I've got to assume something rotates it. Uh, you can get to it from a different entrance. It just tells you that, that it's here. Oh. You couldn't get to it before for reasons. Nice. There it is. Okay. Now, what's the best way to make it to not here? could go up there, up there, all the way up there to get over there. Or I can backtrack a little further this way and just... And yeah, we're gonna go through the forest entrance. Ah. Uh -huh. You know. That place I went to in the first episode that I wasn't supposed to and I got a sweet gun upgrade for it. Oh, right. <laughs> oh man, that Augustus fight would have been so... much more annoying without the four bullets. Yeah. I still love the room transition animation. Like, oh, it's yeah. really good. Oh, this is great. Uh oh. I'm Mysterious Gamer X. I'm bad at video games. Right. You're doing a good job. I am curious how the game feels. If you play it with the touch screen. I have a hard time even contemplating that, if I'm honest. Well, because I know that it came out on iOS as well. And it is designed with the touch screen in mind. Mm. But I'm just picturing having to quickly tap to the platforms. Oof. And I mean, maybe it's just because I didn't grow up with touch screen games. But uh, I like buttons and toggles. I really do. So, I wonder how we get to that guy. Although, with rhythm games, uh, touchscreen's pretty nice. Uh, I know I love Elite Beat Agents for the uh, DS. Because of its, like, good use of the touchscreen. Wasn't this area empty after you blew up all the tree parts? Yeah, but I feel like there should be something there. That's fair. It definitely feels like a secret spot or something, but... Yeah. Oh, just to see if there was, like, a yeah. destroyable terrain thing? Good call. When in doubt, hit it with a missile. Yeah. Like, that treasure chest is there. Mm-hmm. How do we get to it? I'm wondering how drastically the terrain's gonna change as you progress, if there's stuff buried in the middle of the stage that opens up later, you know? Mm -hmm. And you can see all the edges of it, too. So it's not like there's a big room in there or something. It's literally just that box. But we'll see. Okay, so this just goes up. There's a lot of bees. They killed me once. Oh, yeah. I don't remember if there were any, but I know that there's those, like, launchers now that, uh... Oh, yeah, I gotta find me one of them. It seems like that would be... Because you got that after beating Augustus. So I would think, logically, the, uh... The thing to look for is an area that we couldn't get to before because we didn't have the range. Yeah. Nah, I'm with you. I remember seeing some like that. I mean, I don't remember where, but I remember seeing one at 1.2 and even commenting on it. I'm half tempted to go and watch our episode with the sound off and see if I can't find it, but... But silently watching a YouTube video on our <laughs> uh, channel sounds like a real boring bit for you guys, so I'm going to refrain for the moment. Fighter's trip. Okay. This. Let's go through. It goes to a big room that we haven't gone past that has two exits. So. 
I mean, it's at least worth checking out. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah! Some more salt. Very cool. Oh, hey, that again. Oh! Yeah. Well, like I said, I mean, there's still two exits to this room, uh, and we were able to get a whole bunch of good stuff for getting there. one way. Oh, I don't, yeah, this is I don't think we've been here before, yeah. This is where the village entrance connects us to. Oh. So basically we took the long way around to pick up treasure chest for our trouble. And you always need more salt. That's true. It's the village of the artists, so we know where that goes. Right. We go to the Colossal Bridge or Dreamlands. Ooh, Kirby! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well. We'll take a look around. The Colossal Bridge. Be nice if we could hit a. A village so you could spend all that salt. But. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that just seems to be... Hey, it's a person. What's up? Oh, the Zuli. <laughs> oh, hey. This is was the Colossal Bridge. Oh, it's all oh, broken. Oh, that got messed up in the intro. Yeah, yeah. in the cutscene, yeah. it has been a long time since anything good came from the other end. We used the creation stone to build a path for you. Oh, neat. A one-way path. Oh, my. Before you cross, I want you to listen well. Until now, you have been fighting in familiar territory. Once you cross the Colossal Bridge, your journey will become more difficult, unnatural, and unpredictable. The Eldarian army will be in their own lands. They will crawl out from behind every corner. They will try everything they know. For the salt, you must not concede. You must not, Tandara. Once you have crossed, make your objectives clear and your mind clean. Find and destroy Eldar, their leader. Only then will we have again the peace and the love that we once had. Right. So I'm thinking you might want to go to the Dreamland first. Just, yep. just real quick. <laughs> just, just a quick stop, <laughs> Lazuli. <laughs> quick grocery run. You know, we just need to get milk, eggs, salt. <laughs> you know, things. We are out of salt, actually. Uh, it seems like it moves. Like, I mean, there's little arrows, but... And it's wiggling. It wiggles when you get on it. Uh, try shooting straight up. Or at an angle. Huh. Very strange. Okay. Got a bad feeling that uh, I'm going to have to go to Portugal whether I like it or not. Fortunately, there's a camp. I can just go ahead and save here. Yeah, <laughs> and spend all your stuff. Oh, hey, it's those things so I can jump really far. Oh, nice. That's cool. Yeah. OK. 
come on. There we go. Oh, alright. Here we go. Going into a one way trip into uncharted territory because we can't go all the places here for reasons. I mean, my guess is that either. There's a game mode plus where we can get there afterwards, or... There is actually a way back. Or there's actually a way back. All we need is an idea. <laughs> an idea on how to get back. There we go. The Traveler's Corridor. Hi. Oh. You're oh. not creepy. <laughs> Well, I see what Lazuli meant about them, like, sort of owning this place. Any other? Yeah, we got exits. We got exits for days. <laughs> Corruption transform. Ominous. Yeah, this doesn't sound like a fun place. It's like a bubble. Oh. I see. Oh, shooting moves the platform. That's why. That's why the other, the, the jackal-headed dude. That's why he moved. That's because he shot. Yes. I feel like the way to get that jackal-headed person off your back is to get close enough that you can leap to him, take the hit, and... Man, this isn't working. Yeah, no, that's... That's a little bit stressful. <laughs> I'm glad they gave you a save point in the... Uh, so let's check out some other rooms here. Ooh, the next room looks all techno-y. <laughs> like the Forest of Encoders. Oh! Okay, it takes more than one hit to get there. Uh, I think they might be armored when their face is closed. Yeah, probably. <laughs> they have very creepy human faces. That are like, ah, drooling crap, or I something. I just realized. What? Need to go back get my salt. Oh, yeah. Good call. Had a lot of salt. The game is good for salt. So what happens if you die before you get your salt back? Lose some salt. Ah, that's a bummer. Got it. These guys are doing more than one damage. Oh. That's no good. Oh, no, it is not. Yeah? Surprise interaction by the cat. Surprising that it's not during a boss fight. <laughs> Sean likes boss fights, don't you? You like to cheer mysterious gamer ox on during them. Yeah.
So they're not armored, they just take a prodigious number of hits. Mm. Those eyeball things are just going to be spawning randomly, I guess. Probably. Die already. Uh, yeah, keeping those slightly off uh, off center seems to be a a good strategy. Like when you entered here, having it bouncing off the walls was useful. Yeah. Oh, it's another one of them door things. That's great. Not a ton Very of room to maneuver, room. either. Yeah. Ugh. Well, you got it. <laughs> Go me! And it does stay dead afterwards, so... Your uh, battle of attrition worked out there. Carlos. Last thoughts, thoughts, of tomorrow. thoughts of tomorrow. I could have just gone around that door. Uh, I think there was one of those eyeball things up there. Because yeah. I saw it explode into a wall. And not having that thing shooting at you is probably good. <laughs> probably. No sense having to deal with it on your return trip. Yeah. I'm noticing it's definitely uh, blocking a lot more of your path than it has been in the past. Ow. That was a heck of a fight there. Yeah. I was kind of hoping that those brambles would uh, slow down that weird face thing, but it really Terrain just... is for other people. I was going to say, it really just got in your way. Okay. Okay. Overcast Gate Ruins. Hmm. Sounds ominous. I'm sure you can hit it, but... Oh. I wasn't sure if you could get to it once you cleared out some of it. But you can. Not sure why, though. Yeah. It wiggled. Oh, it's, uh... Hey, what's up, dude? Let's say, this looks like a boss fight. It looks like a something. Or, like, it's going to be a boss fight if it isn't currently. I think those are just hazards. I don't think you can kill them. You also feel like there's something back there that you're going to have to shoot at? Yeah. Oh, okay. They just have a different pattern than the other ones. Was that a different entrance? Because it doesn't have the skull on it, so I think it is. Yeah. No? No, there's only the two. Where'd the face go? That's not unsettling. <laughs> Did you notice the, the little, like, faces on the edge there that are looking at you? Yeah. The, like, little skeleton heads or whatever? 
It's not creepy. Not even a little bit. <laughs> See? Well, now he's back? And notice that the uh, square thing has the skull on it again. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, okay. I didn't go all the way around like I thought I did. <laughs> okay, so that one was at the other half. Like, yeah. There's one at the halfway point. Oh, can you just dodge that way because it's all connected? No, I can dodge that way because it's on a slight incline. Oh. Oh, what's going on over here? Corridor of Conscious Recollections. Hey, Sludge Monster. Yeah. <laughs> It's like it's the same color as the walls, too. Sort of a, a deep ochre. It doesn't die. It just deteriorates for a bit. I wonder if you can go through it without taking damage during the period that it's deteriorated, or... Okay, so I do have to go through... Ugh. All right. Yes. They're pretty mobile, too. Yeah. Okay, well, what's going on over here? View of solid. Ooh, yay, campsite. The Remembrance Desert. Phew. Get more bang for my buck that way, as long as I can use them before I die. Aha. Uh -huh. Hmm. Well. Next time on Endless Mode, we're going to pick a direction forward. and keep going, I guess. Lord yeah. knows there was probably more in that forest we could have explored. I mean, it's a Metroidvania game. We're we'll going to be, be back. back. <laughs> we'll be back as soon as we hit a wall. Basically. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you later.